So the Zuma one uh, study um, evaluated XSL in patients with real after refractory large B cell lymphoma after two or more lines of systemic therapy. Um, and the Zuma two study evaluated anti CD19 CAR T cell therapy, which is now called Brexocel, in patients with real after refractory mantle cell lymphoma. So currently, on the Zuma 12 study, which we are reporting here at this ASH meeting, um, uh, this is a phase two single arm multicenter study where we evaluated XSL as part of first line therapy in patients with high risk large B cell lymphoma. And what we are presenting at this meeting is an interim analysis. Um, to be eligible for this study, the patients had to have high risk disease, which was defined by two different criteria. Uh, one, uh, they had to have double head or triple head lymphoma or, or large B cell lymphoma with an IPS score of three or higher. In addition, they had to have a, a positive interim PET scan um, de defined with a dual score of four or five after two or more after two cycles of standard frontline chemotherapy such as RCHOP or, or EPA chemotherapy. So once these patients have been eligible and enrolled onto the study, they underwent leukapheresis to generate the CAR T product and then went on to receive conditioning chemotherapy with cyclophosphamide and fludarabine followed by a single infusion of XSL at a dose of 2 million CAR positive cells per kilogram body weight. So the primary endpoint for the study is a complete uh, response rate. So for this interim analysis out of a planned 42, 40 patients uh, on this study, 32 patients have received CAR-T product as of the data cutoff uh, and were valuable for safety and efficacy. And we found that uh, in these patients, we were an, 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 a best overall response rate of 85% and a complete response rate of 74%. And after a median follow-up of uh, 9.3 months, 70% of these patients have ongoing remission. Uh, in terms of adverse uh, events, uh, we, we observed that you know, CRS in almost all the patients as expected, but most of these were grade one and grade two, with only three nine percent of the patients having grade three or higher. Uh, neurological toxicity was observed in 69% of the patients, but again, most of these were grade one and grade two, uh, with only 25% of the patients having grade three or higher. And all of these uh, CRS and neurological events were uh, reversible, and we did not observe any grade five CRS or neurological events. So uh, you know, to summarize, uh, the Zuma 12 is the first study to evaluate CAR T cell therapy as part of first line therapy in a high risk large B cell lymphoma. And what this study shows is that CAR T therapy can be administered safely uh, in this patient population. And it appears to have uh, high uh, efficacy with, uh, with durable responses to date uh, with a CR rate of 74% and 70% of the res responses ongoing at uh, after a median follow-up of uh, nine months. So I think this is a, uh, probably a step uh, forward uh, to move CAR T cell therapy into you know, first-line uh, therapy for lymphoma.